I've always wanted to be a DJ and I've always thought, well, that was a really cool job. Having a personality that's well known would be awesome just to be the person who's cool. Max 107.1 FM, random, just like the students who run it. Corner of Warden Tristan Street, Hamilton. Mexican's main focus is to provide a professional radio station for students about students and about student life on Wintec. It also acts as the window on Wintec for the community, so it gives them some sort of point of call when looking at Wintec from the outside, as somewhere to go and have a look that's a little bit fun, a little bit innovative, doing innovative things that's not so academic, but is still based academically. I think MaxFM provides the community with an alternative to other stations that might play more mainstream music or you have to go and get a degree in, you know, at a radio institute or something like that to go and be a part of. Whereas Max FM's again, it's grassroots, it's for everybody. I enjoy like just letting people listen to my music and telling people to listen to my music to my show and just generally socialising with people down at the station, things like that. The students are an eclectic bunch, you know, there's, there's a bunch of us and we're all different types of styles that we like. I heard about Revolutions at one point when I was working in town and then the next thing I heard was there was Max FM. What was the revolution? What was it all about? Well it all started um, not last year but the year before that, that would be 2003. We've got no newspaper like Nexus like the university has. Um, so yeah, it needed an identity and what's a perfect way to do it would be with a radio station. We made the transition from Revolution Radio to Max FM Radio and it's sort of just starting out. It's been about a year in now. And I think, it just looking at everything, I think it's going to prosper quite well. Revolution sort of had a big stunted growth because of the fact that it didn't have funding and things like that, or very minimalist funding. And since we've become Max FM, they've sort of incorporated it into a bit of the budget. I think to help us get more funding uh, from Wintech and from outside organisations is that the students need to become more involved. They need to be become more active and show a little bit of responsibility. My input, while it's behind the scenes, I think for the, the long term of the success of Max FM, it's crucial because it means that it has academic support, which means we're going to be building academic programs around it. It means we can get the money to spend on the things that we need. Max FM should become, realistically, the glue that holds Wintech together. It offers the bridge between the learning and the doing. So a lot of students that are here doing journalism or public relations or marketing and advertising, they learn about the theoretical side of stuff in class, but they can come down here at Max FM and actually do it for real life. So they can put on shows here, they can do live poetry readings if that's what they want to do, they can read out their short stories or their essays, they can do news stories. Oh, I heard about it one time, I randomly tuned in, and then a few weeks later we were asked to play a show here. And we're like, yeah, yo, win tech, but local, but all right by me. The good thing with Max is that there's heaps of um, kids that are like going, getting into, into bars and stuff underage because they want to see shows, and with Max then you can do it without having to worry about you know, all, the, all the trouble that comes along with that, so... Uh, don't really listen to the radio station much because I can't get it, I can't hear it where I live, but uh, certainly as a venue it's fantastic. It's a fantastic opportunity to put together sort of experimental shows that are uh, just an experiment you can't have in a pub. We don't charge the venue out per se, they charge at the door and the bands take that money and Max FM just gets the fun of being part of that. Yeah, we just kind of basically asked if we could be part of Max FM and have our own show and be the manager just said, go for it. So it was really easy to be part of it. I'd like to continue working here as a DJ for as long as my um, course goes for. Get out and support it. Tune in to the shows. Tune in to what people are saying because this is how the scene is going to grow in Hamilton.